Hey Cancer, it's Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot here to do your weekly reading for February 24th through March 1st. So, I'm going to have to forgive my nails, okay, because they're hideous right now. I know it. They're torn up because I had to take off the acrylics and... Yeah, and I need to give them a few days before I put new ones on. All right. So this deck here is the Goddess Dream Oracle by Wendy Andrew. It, I just, I feel like a taste of spring this week, and these cards kind of remind me of that. This is The Soul's Journey by James Van Prague. All right. All right, so let's see what we have here. Alright, so we have we have inspiration and it says begin now. So there's something about now that's very very relevant, very important. And then we have forgiveness, compassion and kindness. So somebody Somebody might need your forgiveness, or you might feel like you need somebody's forgiveness. So, compassion and kindness, you know, that's, to me, that's kind of everything. You, you actually give yourself compassion and kindness when you give it to somebody else. The number of this card is 12, which breaks down to a 3. And 3 is about communication. So I feel like not only does somebody need um, forgiveness, but they actually need to hear it. Like, it's not even enough to know that there's forgiveness there. I feel like somebody needs to hear it. All right, and then we have patience. So this might be a challenge for one or both of you, okay? So the lesson here is I accept that everything happens in divine order. And this is interesting because, you know, we have inspiration over here and it says begin now, which is kind of the opposite of patience. So I feel like these two cards go together. And I feel like, this person here is more than likely the one that this person over here needs to hear from. Because I feel like the forgiveness of this person the forgiveness for this person needs to begin now. And you know what, even if you're, honestly, even if you're not inspired to forgive, all I can say to that is the sooner you find that, that inspiration to forgive, if it's you, the better you're both going to feel. All right. It's amazing to me how long people hang on to anger and grudges. I see it all the time in the comments. And it's, you know, I mean, when you read those comments of people just being just so angry, you know, you can see that it's, it's hurting them as much as they're hurting somebody else or vice versa. So this row up here is going to be um, 
for the person that you're watching the video for. Down below, this is the Universal Celtic Tarot. And then down below, I'm using the Triple Goddess deck. I find I use certain decks together. <clears throat> All right, so for you, first card out, we have we have the magician. For some reason, I feel like you're the one that needs to forgive. And then we have the tower Ooh, for them. So like I always say, you know, I like the tower because that means that something is ending that should end. Okay, or something that is needs a change or needs a fresh burst of of love is changing. So this person, you know, with this being the first card out, they're either getting ready to go through something or they have just gone through something. So it almost feels like honestly, this feels like there was an argument. And maybe the two of you aren't talking right now. All right, so we have the lovers. So, you know, I feel like the choice is yours. Again, I feel like you hold the kind of the key to either fixing this or walking away from it and letting it go. But there's still, there's still, a, you know, an attraction, a connection here. I feel like this person has been forced to be patient. And they, I feel, are craving forgiveness, compassion, and kindness. And I feel like this card is saying, begin now with that. Like, why wait? I mean, we can all be, you know, we can all walk in front of a bus tomorrow and it's done. You know, it's like King of Wands. So, for some reason, I feel like the, if there was an argument or a disagreement or somebody, like, walked off in a huff, it was... It was over somebody's, um, it, you know, honestly, it, there's a couple things here, okay? You know, it could have been a situation around integrity. Somebody felt like the integrity wasn't being upheld in the relationship in some way. And for some of you, I feel like um, this person might be naturally attractive to a lot of people. You know, and you might have struggled with that in some way, like, you know, they know they're doing that, they know they want to do that, they know they love the attention. And it just started to, it started to get to you. And you know, I don't feel like if the two of you just ended things like abruptly, I don't feel like this person was expecting it and I feel like they took it really, really hard. I don't think they really fully understood what you were really upset about. And frankly, I don't know that you really told them, you know, nine of swords. So 
You know, you might be going over the situation in your head. You might be telling yourself stories about, you know, how terrible you thought you were in this situation. You know, you might be, you're not talking very kindly to yourself regardless, okay? You, I think it almost bothers you that you're still attracted and connected to this person. But with this magician over here, you know, ultimately you manifested this situation. Again, I feel like like the the power in this relationship, you might perceive it as this person having it, but ultimately I feel like you hold the key in this connection. Queen of Cups, this person had deep, unconditional love towards you. And with this Nine of Swords down here for you, there's some part of you that knows that. There's some part of you that knows that you might have been, um, you know, that you might have made a mountain out of a molehill for nothing. <clears throat> Chariot, look at that. We have unconditional love next to you, Cancer, which is your card, Chariot, which this person has only ever wanted to follow their heart. Now, in a general reading, you know, these two characters here can be flip-flopped, okay? So, you know, this might be the other person and this might be you. But I always get a feeling as to who is who, and I feel like this is your person, this is the person that feels like they need forgiveness and kindness. You know, you might have been unusually unkind, you know, and that's not a usual practice of a cancer. Something, you know, you might be dealing with a fire sign, you might be dealing with another water sign, but something really got your goat and, you know, you can't really explain it. It's like, you know, I think you're in a situation now where you're like, geez, you know, what do I say after after that? I, I can't really make sense of it to this person. Okay, so then we have the world. So something did end here. And I feel like you were the one that ended it. And you're also being called you know, to begin now, do something about it now. Because, you know, this person, I feel, um, I feel like this was a little bit shattering to them and they're not fully understanding really what was, what went so wrong. And the longer you let it go, the more that it, that it festers, the more this person is, you know, going to detach from this connection and realize that, you know, they deserve better than what happened here. Sorry, that's, that's what I'm picking up on. And it's not a judgment on you because we've all been there. We've all said and done things that, you know, might have been off the charts ridiculous. And we had to put our tail between our legs a little bit, you know. But I feel like this person isn't going to, isn't going to respond in a way that makes you feel worse. Not at all. I think a little compassion and kindness here will go a long way. All right, so let's see. Let's, I want to clarify the tower. And the King of Wands up here. Then down here, I'm going to clarify for you the Magician, the Lovers, and the Nine of Swords. All right, so the Magician clarified, look at that, by the King of Wands. You know, you might be dealing with a Sagittarius or a fire sign for sure. And like I said before, you manifested this person, you know, and this person, you know, you are attracted to them 
for the same reason that maybe a lot of people are attracted to them. That's not their fault. Okay, they can't control, they can't control that. The way that you can look at that differently is, you know, look, look at what I have. Look at who, you know, loves me. You know, they obviously saw something very special in you. All right, so the tower for them, that's interesting. So, you know, what I feel like this tower is, the big change for them, the big change that will propel them towards their heart's desire is a reconciliation with you. That's what this person is waiting for. All right, that's the change that they're hoping for and that the universe is trying to help them with. So this could very well be, you know, a destined type of connection because this doesn't feel over at all. All right, so King of Wands clarified by Ace of Cups. Again, clarifying that this fire sign or this person possibly with fire in their chart wants a new beginning in love with you. Like, I just feel like this person is in the dark. Like, they don't know what hit them. All right, so lovers, you have a choice to make about this connection. That's what this card is saying. Three of Cups. Choose happiness. You know, it's like, what are you brooding about right now? What are you so worried about right now? That this person won't take you back? Stop it. Don't worry about that. They will. They will. And they've, they've shown you that, you know, by being patient, by, you know, giving you your space. Nine of Swords clarified by Six of Swords. Yeah, exactly. It's like, why be in this Nine of Swords energy? when you can be in the six of swords and focus on, you know, moving towards happiness again. It's like there's no reason that, that this shouldn't work out without a problem. You know, I don't see any, you know, um, cards of conflict here. And that's, that's why, you know, it feels like it was a, a mountain over a molehill type of thing. Someone made a mountain over a molehill. Like there just wasn't really anything to get upset about. Like it almost feels like somebody, you know, could have been very hormonal <laughs> um, <clears throat> and just blew up on somebody, you know, maybe because they were having a bad day, you know, and again, we've all done that. But I feel like fixing it now is really, really important. All right. Just, I want to pull one more card for these two cards together because this says unconditional love towards cancer, okay? And that this person wants to follow their heart. And then we have justice. Yeah, I mean, this person you know, I think will apologize up and down to you and honestly not even know why they're apologizing just because they want to get back to the loving feelings and, you know, moving forward. And it's what you want too. You know, part of what you're thinking about is just how do I move this forward and move it back towards happiness and start over. So... <clears throat> Pulling the bottom card from each deck, getting a message from Spirit. Four of Wands and Ten of Cups. I, I mean, I feel like Spirit is saying, you know what? Just, just do it. Just do it. Just reach out to this person that you clearly love and that 
this person clearly loves you. You know, there's opportunity for this to be long term. You know, this already has a solid foundation and you have the opportunity for complete emotional fulfillment, Ten of Cups. It's like, what are you waiting for? You've already made this person wait or somebody has made this person wait. If this is you. You know, and I don't feel like this person, I feel like this person definitely has an idea of what their value is. Because I almost feel like the argument was about that. Was about that this person gets a lot of attention. And maybe the choice for you is deciding, you know, are you going to be proud of the fact that you're with somebody that gets a lot of attention and realizing that it doesn't really matter? Or are you going to let it get to you? If you're, if you're a, a very, um, if you have a tendency to be jealous, you know, you might have to really think about that because I feel like it will come up again. And, you know, are you going to handle it differently or is this going to be a situation that goes in cycles? Because it's going to be one or the other if this is your reading if this is your situation and you have every much a value as this person and there's a lot of people that see your value too you might be in a situation where you're just exposed to a lot of people you know admiring this this person you know and that might there so there might be an, an unusual circumstance there but you can deal with it you got to just own your value you're every bit as attractive as this person to as many people as this person but you know you may just not pay as much attention to that because you're paying so much attention to what's going on over here all right, Cancer, that's what I have for you. I will be doing another reading on Friday about hidden feelings and intuition. So if this reading didn't resonate with you, um, you can check that out. Um, if you're looking for a personal reading, I'm always here for you. All you have to do is reach out and I will respond quickly and we'll get you taken care of. All right. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye.